remember that palette I showed you in a prior video, the Tim Holtz Ranger um, alcohol ink palette. So I'm carefully dropping some of my various inks into this palette. And right now I'm arranging them by um, like usable for portraits or skin tones and um, just kind of like other fun colors. So I'm going to fill up a nine block with some of the E's and allow them to evaporate. And then, uh, so that'll be my, my portrait palette. And I'll fill up the rest um, probably with like um, just bright colors in a chromatic order. So I'll get back to you guys once these inks have been applied and have dried. So this is my palette. Um, I'm still waiting for it to dry, but I thought it was significant to point out that as some of these colors um, evaporate, they are going to become darker and more intense. So it's really important for you to keep track of the order you put your markers in. Now, I'll just zoom out so you guys can see that I have everything in order so that when I shut the, when this is dry and I shut the case, I can write the color names on the lid. Um, and the lid is divided into four sections. So you could theoretically even mix colors on the lid if you want to. So uh, I'm going to resume letting this dry. I just wanted you guys to see the colors as they were freshly applied so that we have something to compare it to when it's dry. All right guys, so it's been about two hours and my alcohol inks are finally dissolved enough that I can easily move the palette. Now some of the colors have not fully dissolved all the way, like this blue over here. Um, I probably applied too much ink to the palette, but I wanted to make sure there was enough to be able to pick it up later with my blending marker. So the next step is taking a permanent marker and labeling my colors. And fortunately, I've kept all my inks nearby, so it's not hard to do. And um, if you make a mistake, either in labeling or in application, you can actually use um, just rubbing alcohol on a rag to wipe it out. So if you decide to change your palette over time, that shouldn't be too difficult. You might end up with some staining. I have not tested for that yet, so I don't know. But it'll be interesting to find out together. So now I have it marked, and if I was feeling particularly adventurous, I could even take a permanent marker and um, write the color codes, maybe like right here, right here, right here, right there. Um, I'm going to leave my palette open to finish drying, and I got a little bit of alcohol. You, can, you can't really see it, but I want to clean it up so that it doesn't contaminate other colors. I got a little bit of alcohol on the lid of my palette while I was um, labeling my colors. So to clean that up, here's some Viva paper towel. Here's some regular isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle that I always keep on my desk. Spray the paper towel and wipe. And it comes up pretty easy. And I have a feeling these inks are going to be a lot darker than what they would be in their undiluted form. So it's gonna be exciting to see how that differs and maybe a little bit frustrating. All right, so I will check in with you guys later when I'm ready to start putting my palette into action. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys found this video interesting, exciting, inspiring. Um, I look forward to sharing even more information about this technique as we find out together. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit like because it helps me out with um, YouTube's algorithms. It will put me higher in like the recommended watch list, which means I get more subscribers, which means I can do even cooler stuff for you guys. Um, just a heads up. I don't know when this is going to post yet because we have a bit of a backlog, but I am planning a, uh, a giveaway, an alcohol marker giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So it is in y'all's best interest to help me get there. Um, and if you enjoy content like this, if you want to see... Um,
where this project is going, make sure you subscribe to my channel for even more fantastic alcohol marker art related videos. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye guys. I wanted to give you guys an update of the um, alcohol ink palette I made. They're finally dry. Aren't those colors beautiful? They're like almost more beautiful than they will be when they go down on paper probably because they look like candy right now and they're so glossy. Um, so this row right here are Ranger inks. Up here are Copics. None of these are the homemade inks. I don't actually feel that great about um, drawing them out and reconstituting them that way. I'm not so sure they'll work. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update before I do the um, demonstrate how this works.